Good morning and welcome to Grown By Me in Lake Illawarra. Just thought I'd do a mango update. It has been a while since I have posted. Um, yeah, just been flat out with work and after we had all of our rainy season, there was no point really in um, filming. Everything was quite a, a slouchy mess, but now we've got a few 30 degree days. My mangoes um, flowered and a few of them have got seed, like fruit, setting. Um, so I'll just have a little film of it. So this one here is my sensation. And um, it had two big flower spikes out of these two nodules. But nothing eventuated, which is good because it's only a young tree. I've only had it since um, February 2021. So, yeah, that flowered, and then both of them fell off, and it is in the pot as well. The next one next to it is. Again, it's in a pot. I've got a beautiful, um, glossy dark green leaves. So that's got two branches out of it. This one being a more dominant one, and then it's shot off into five separate waves. So it might be a bit of a lopsided tree. So. And next to that is a bamboo. It's got a really big stem, quite tall. And I really should pick a few of those off, but I haven't just to see what it will do. There is quite a few, I didn't realise how many there is when you look at that little branch, so I might have to pick them off because I've only had that one since um, August 2021, so not really ready yet, is it? Next to that, this is the jackfruit. I've just got it in here against the wall. I really shouldn't be growing these in my conditions in semi-temperate um, and it probably it did last over winter that was its two original leaves that it came with and it's shot up this one now um, but yeah it's just like an experiment oh that's one that's uh, fallen off the mango next to it so it did seed Yeah, so it flowered out of that shoot, had the little mango growing, and it's fallen off. And that one is of uh, the Allison Red. So that was the, the tip of that. And yeah, it's just fallen off. That is got a really nice shape to its stem undo that tape I think that's a bit tight so today I've just come out to give them a bit of care a bit of water um, and I have the, the day off work next to that just trying to find its tag yeah oh, that's the bowen so that's it up there hard to see the sun's so bright so that is going to lose those tips that and off that today or tomorrow. If I touched them, they're probably full. But everything's nice and green and lush. Go down the step. This one here is the lemon zest. It's only been with me since March. That was the Ross River one. Uh, obviously pretty healthy which is great nice stem really need a good water 
today. I just shoved a guava in the middle here to keep a bit of, um, ooh, she's got a bit sunburnt, that one. What is that one? That one is a Glen. Really sturdy. I might have to move that one a little bit. It's just got its tip. Really burnt. Terribly burnt. I didn't notice that. So I moved it over slightly today. And next to that is a blue mango that I bought online didn't do anything on the second one so they're all on a like a pot stand it was on the second shelf over the other side didn't do anything put it a little bit more in the shade um and yeah it's there it's boomed it where you can see from there all the way up to there that's its new growth since i've moved it Crazy, hey, just one, you know, bit over on a stand. Got new growth. This isn't a dwarf one. This is because it's unusual. I wanted to to grow it. You can see where before it got a bit burnt. Feels like a real, you know, Australian bush mango, this one. Even though it's probably not just feels like a leaf, so nearly like a gum gum leaf. Just a, the way you feel there, the texture. And <clears throat> just in here as well, I have a little sour sop growing. A little bit sheltered. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot, in here is a bollocks heart as well. Very projective, but it's got a lot of beautiful new green leaves as well i guess that's why they go so well um they're very very protected i'll move this guy over here underneath my locusts that i filmed earlier so this is another palmer and it has grown well and it's got a few little fruit Again, probably too soon to grow them as it in a pot a few years old, but yeah, I'm just doing it as an experiment. This guy looks like, yeah, they're really interesting the way they grow. So I'm hoping it holds on, but if not, it's not the right time yet, is it? So that is my mango update i do have two more but nothing's really happening with them and they're quite they're in larger pots and they're up the other end of the garden but yeah i just thought i would give you a glimpse of my mango update now i'm going to give them a really really good water thanks for watching please like and subscribe